Hello and welcome back to my channel where we go beyond the design to build something beautiful. Today I am showing my floor to ceiling bookshelves that I built, just one of them, bookshelf. And super easy build. Bookshelves are one of those things that if you are new at DIYing, it is the easiest thing that you can build for DIY. It's, the great, it's a great beginner's project for DIY. Um, all it takes is a couple sheets of plywood. I used um, half an inch plywood here on these. And then you get some one buys and that's it. That's all the wood that you need and super easy. You can have Home Depot make your cuts for you if you don't have a table saw or a circular saw or if those things scare you. <laughs> um, but they will make those cuts for you. You just give them your measurements and you're good to go. Um, but super easy to build and it looks amazing, especially down here in my theater room, which is painted all black. Um, and it just kind of adds some depth and um, some visual interest to the space and just really elevates the space. I'll link the post for this room and how I, all the things that I did to make this room just feel really, really nice and cozy. Um, I'll link that below. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. The very first step is to cut your side panels. Both of these get ripped to 90 and 3 quarter inch by 16 inches. Continuing on with the cuts, we're now going to cut five shelves to 19 and a half inches by 15 and a quarter inch. We're now going to drill three quarter inch pocket holes along each of the 15 and a quarter inch edges of each shelf. To help the project go a lot faster and easier, we're going to cut some spacers. This will help determine where each shelf needs to go. We'll cut two scrap plywood pieces at 15 inches each and two scrap pieces at four and a quarter inches each. The width of these spacers does not matter, only the length. Place the bottom of each four and a quarter inch spacer at the bottom of your side panel, about 15 inches apart from one another. This marks the spot where your bottom shelf will be attached. Using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, attach one side of the shelf to the side panel. As a side note, this is your bottom shelf, so make sure your pocket holes are facing down when you stand the shelf shelving unit upright. Now you're ready to attach your next shelf to the side panel. Place the 15 inch spacers above the bottom shelf and attach the next shelf to the side panel using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Attach the remainder of the shelves using the spacers. Remember to make note of where the pocket holes will be when you turn the shelving unit upright. Now you're ready to attach the other side panel. Turn the unit over and set it on top of the other side panel. Lining it up, attach each shelf to this side panel. Be sure to use the spacers to ensure the shelves are level. Next up, we'll add the trim pieces to all of the shelves except the top and the bottom. We'll get to those in just a second. Cut one by twos to fit and attach with one and a half inch wood screws. Add the backer board by cutting plywood to fit the back of the unit. Attach with tack nails or a nail gun. I find it easiest to lay the unit down when doing this step. For the bottom trim piece, cut a piece of plywood to fit and attach with one and a half inch wood screws. Use edge banding to cover up all the raw edges. The last building step is to add the topper. The dimensions of these pieces will be determined by where your bookshelf is going. You can use plywood, one buys, or even crown molding for this step. As a safety precaution, be sure to attach the unit to studs. And that's it. Now you're ready to paint your beautiful floor to ceiling bookshelf. For a more detailed look at this project, be sure to check out the full tutorial linked below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. 